Hey guys, I'm getting ready to film Newswave soon, and I had a couple people send me some questions uh, about some different things that happened today that I was going to put in a Newswave, but I figure I'll kind of elaborate on it with a separate video that I'm doing now, and I wanted to talk about two things. There were two things brought to my attention. One is the very obvious uh, Season of Heaven, Season of Heaven trailer that everybody saw. It was the teaser trailer, technically. It's a teaser for the big trailer coming out December 19th. I, I assume they're doing this to keep interest going for a while. Obviously, they didn't want a big window where people forgot about it, and that's fine. I understand. And then there was another article that I had seen earlier today, and somebody else on Twitter, Brian Brammer, sent me a, uh, a tweet, kind of reminded me about it, and it's an article that came out. Uh, I have to remember what what, uh, what exactly what site it was, uh, VentureBeat, and they're basically saying that the Switch is going to actually be weaker than what a lot of people think it's going to be. It's not going to be based on Pascal technology. It's going to be based on Maxwell technology, the same thing that the uh, the older Shield TV was based on, and that it's going to be nowhere near as powerful as the PS4. I've always said it won't be as powerful as the PS4, but I was thinking it would be right around where the Xbox One is currently, the, the original Xbox One. Uh, even the slim Xbox One is a little more powerful than that one. But I was thinking somewhere around 1 to 1.3 teraflops, somewhere in there when it's plugged in and running from the wall, of course, battery, it'll be less. And it seems like from what their uh, sources are, they are unnamed sources that do not wish to be named right now. <laughs> and that's always funny when I see that because that always tells me that uh, it could it could be not true, honestly, if they don't want to be named. Or they could honestly be under an NDA or something like that, but... More than likely, I'm still sticking to my belief that the Switch will surprise some people. I don't think it's going to be PS4 levels at all. I, I always said it would be less powerful than the PS4, uh, but I did expect it to be in the neighborhood of the Xbox One uh, when, when plugged in. When undocked, I, I I thought it would be weaker than the Xbox One by a fair amount, but it, that, it doesn't need to be more powerful because it's going to be using a 720 screen. Now, the other thing that people have brought up to me is the Seasons of Heaven trailer. And... It looks good. It does. It looks really good. If you if you actually watch it, you see a lot of advanced uh, graphic technology and stuff going on there. Techniques like God Rays, obviously, it's been very popular for a lot of games recently. Um, you have things like foliage moving. Uh, the grass looks very good. You know, just the, the, the little things in the game when they're panning around the scenery. And it brought up a lot of uh, questions from people. More questions than answers, really, uh, at this point. Not even about, like, the story or anything, because there's a whole book written about it, but... Uh, not even about any of that. It's based more around the, uh, the the vagueness of the developer right now. It's an indie developer, and they've basically been kind of like I said, they've been hinting at this for a while. They've they keep releasing different things through uh, like a blog. Uh, it's like a French blog, and they've even uh, gone on Twitter and talked about it. And they've been questioned recently, especially today after releasing that trailer, if. The game, the trailer we saw there was in-game and if it was actually running on the Switch. Now, they've pretty much uh, avoided the Switch question, which I can understand if they are under a, like, a disclosure agreement of some kind. They can't really say anything about the Switch, and I get that. But they have gone on record on Twitter, it's in writing, I can show it to you here, uh, where they say it is in-game and it's running on the Unreal Engine, which is probably the Unreal Engine 4. Um, and that's the newest one, why would, why would they use it? So... Unreal Engine 4 is running on it, and they have not told us. Now, what happens with a lot of these companies, if you go to E3, for example, and they show off a, a game that is in development, a lot of the times they don't show it on the system that it's being developed for, they show it on a PC. And that's what a lot of people think is happening here. They think we're getting a look at the game running on a PC. Uh, very possible, I think that that could be, um, but usually what happens is they run it on a PC uh, as close to the actual hardware as they can with their dev kit. Now I don't think uh, I don't think this is running on a PC, but it could be. Um, there, there's nothing that says it couldn't be, so it's really anyone's guess. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say it probably is running on the Switch. Uh, and you also have to keep in mind a couple things. One, I noticed that the video resolution, which was weird, it's only it's only uploaded in 720p, which is the obviously the resolution of the screen. If you're trying to do a big teaser. I don't know why you wouldn't upload it in 1080 unless your native resolution that you have is 720. So that's interesting to think about. And uh, the game, I mean, the game itself looks good. It does. The graphics look great. 
Um, I'm more interested in, obviously, what kind of game it's going to play like. It looks like an adventure game. And at this point, we have to wait till December 19th, so next week. We'll see a bigger trailer, which I assume will include, hopefully, in-game gameplay, and that'll give us a better idea of uh, what the game's supposed to be and how it actually looks in motion. Obviously, we saw motion there, but that was more a camera panning around. And uh, we'll see then. I'll keep you guys updated on it, and of course, I will post a video about it then as well. And basically, my thoughts on the Switch in terms of power, I think, like I said, it'll be around the Xbox One power. If it is using the Maxwell GPU, it can still get there. It doesn't have to use Pascal to get there. Uh, an X1 uh, with... It's because it's heavily customized. Remember, they said it's not any kind of GPU combo Tegra that they've used in the past. It's a custom built one specifically for Nintendo. So I'm sure with how technology has gone, cooling, battery efficiency, it could get there when plugged in. I don't see why not. So I would expect it to be in or around the Xbox One's power. Uh, definitely not the PS4 power. Uh, I, that, I thought I made that clear before, but around the Xbox One power, 1 to 1.3 teraflops, somewhere around there with advanced shaders, of course. And uh, we'll see We'll see when we get a little more face January 12th, but definitely check out December 19th. Keep an eye out on YouTube for that new trailer coming out for Seasons of Heaven. 